Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and of course to our Complete Heart Beginners series. I'm really glad that you've decided to come back and you're following along with me and I really hope that you are enjoying your harp journey so far. Please do like and subscribe and of course comment as you go along. We love to hear all about your harp journey. Now in today's lesson we're going to be taking a look at our arm and hand position on the harp. But before you do that, do make sure that you've had a look at the first three videos in this series. We've covered the parts of the harp, how to tune your harp and what the string names are, and of course, sitting at the harp. And that one's really important because our hands and arm positions really are going to be growing out of a really nice, strong foundation of a good sitting position at your harp. So once you've got that, you're ready to come on with me in today's session and have a look at hand and arm position. So before we start looking at our arms, let's just double check our body position so our feet are nice and flat on the ground, feeling really firm and secure. We can feel both of our seat bones on our chair. Our hips are slightly higher than our knees. We're sitting up nice and tall with our core engaged, but not overstretching tall, just a firm, strong, tall position. And our shoulders are relaxed. So let's just start by doing a couple of shoulder rolls because we don't want our shoulders to be up tight up at our ears. We want nice, relaxed shoulders. So let's just give our shoulders a few nice rolls. We want everything to feel lovely and relaxed and loose, especially our shoulders. It's very easy to find your shoulders creeping up as you're playing the harp. So we want them nice and relaxed and down. And if at any point during your practice, no matter your level, you find tension creeping into your shoulders or your upper back or even your chest, just stop give yourself a few shoulder rolls and go back to it. So once we've got that all feeling good, we're gonna pull our harp to us. We're gonna check that our angle is nice so we can see all of the strings comfortably on our harp without messing up all this lovely body position we have got in place. We're gonna make sure that our harp isn't falling away from us because we don't wanna be clinging onto our harp. So a nice balance point and we can see everything and we're feeling good. One more check of the shoulders, they're nice and relaxed. So let's have a look at our arm position. I've rolled up my sleeves so you guys can really see my arms here. And what we want to do at our harp, you don't have to pull your fingers out or anything. We're gonna have our hands just in a nice relaxed fist. We're gonna look at our fingers in our next session. And we're just going to reach our arms forward towards the strings and we're going to have our elbows bent nice and relaxed at roughly a 90 degree angle just roughly and um, if they're a little bit more that's okay if they're a little bit less that's okay but that rough angle and our arms are slightly out from our body so they are able to move so my arms aren't tight into the body they're also not really really out which is going to start affecting my shoulders they're just gently away from my body, giving me that nice movement. And my elbow is at that gentle 90 degree angle. Okay, so let's just take a little closer look at that. Here is my elbow at that nice angle. You can see clearly now that my arm is slightly out from my body. And if I concentrate on my left hand for a moment, you can see that from this position, I can very easily from my elbow move my hand up and down my strings without anything causing me any problems nice and easy and gentle now at this point i want you to take a little look at my wrist here you can see that my wrist is nice and straight okay so this angle of my elbow and having my arm out from my body allows my wrist to be straight if my elbow was in at my body and when my hand came to the strings, you can see I'm getting this kind of bend in my wrist, which I really don't want. Okay, and similarly, we don't want our hand bend this way either. 
so that our wrist is bent. We want a nice straight wrist. Now a straight wrist does not have to mean a tense wrist. So my wrist is nice and straight and as I move up and down the strings, you can see that even though my wrist is straight, I have, I have it flexible, I'm able to gently move it. I don't want to be moving it like this when we get onto play, but I do have to be able to bend my fingers under and over when I get onto playing. And so I want my wrist, so that all of these tendons that are moving through have got freedom of movement. If I bend my hands, this feels icky. This is not feeling good. It's nice straight, straight wrist, allowing freedom of movement. And because I've got my nice angle on my elbow and my arm away from my body, I can move freely up and down my strings, keeping that nice straight wrist. Now, my wrist is straight like this. This is also okay. So it's slight bends in the wrist to allow for flexibility. This is all okay, but we don't want this kind of thing happening and we don't want this kind of thing happening. And this can often happen when our elbow is in at our side. And you can also see here, as I'm coming to the strings, this makes my shoulder come up as well. So we don't want to have T-Rex arms at the strings, okay? We want to have our elbows out, wrists straight, and we're moving freely up and down. We're not having this kind of feeling. Having a look at our right hand, same idea. If I turn to face you now, and I imagine I have a harp in front of me, this is my positioning here. And so you can see again, I've got this nice relaxed 90 degree angle in my elbow, my arm slightly away from my body. And on our right hand, you can gently rest your arm on the soundboard. Gently rest, not push on the soundboard. My chair is just squeaking a little bit there. So gently rest on the soundboard is fine. And then allowing my arm to move up and down. Obviously, as I move further down the soundboard, my arm is no longer resting, but you can see my shoulder isn't coming up. I'm not getting this tension in my shoulder. And also I'm not bending my wrist either way to get towards the strings. And if we take a little closer look at that, so gently resting, I'm not bending my wrist to get into the strings either way. Nice straight wrist, but with fluid and flexible movement as I move up and down the strings. Okay, so let's try that with both hands. Just getting into that nice relaxed position, nice bend in the elbows, arms just away from the body, shoulders relaxed. And we're just gonna gently, we're not touching anything, we're just moving our hands up and down right close to the strings. You can have your hand in a fist position or you can have your fingers a bit more loose if you like. And we're just gonna gently move up and down. Now the point you want to really watch out for is this point up here. So if you notice, as I move higher on my harp, my elbows have to come out a little bit more. And that's because in order to get that nice straight wrist, allowing those tendons to move, I need to create more space for that. And actually, I feel the space in my chest as I move up to the top of my harp. I really feel a sense of space up here. What we don't want is as we move up our harp, our elbows coming in and in, 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 our hands coming in, us coming in and all squished up, T-Rex hands at the top. So as we move up our harp, up to the top of the strings, we want more of a grand feeling. Everything's opening out, giving everything space at the top. So that's the area you really want to watch out for as you move up to the top, giving yourself space. Okay, nice and relaxed. And everything should feel lovely and calm and relaxed. We shouldn't be feeling any tension building up or any stress building up in our bodies. And that is your hand and arm position at the harp. So everyone, I hope you found that helpful. Of course, make sure you subscribe and definitely comment. Tell us how you're getting on with that lovely upright position, that spacious feeling at the top. How is it feeling in your arms? Let us know how you're doing. And of course, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments and I will definitely get back to you and give you any help and advice that I can. Now in our next session, we're going to be looking at placing our fingers onto the strings. 
we're going to be getting ready to make a really beautiful sound and very soon we're going to be plucking those strings making that lovely tone but in the next session we will be looking at placing so i hope to see you all in that next session very soon